In Dragon Ball Super Episode 61, we witnessed the best looking transformation in the history of Dragon Ball Super. Future Trunks looks absolutely furious and crazy powerful like Goku mentioned. The hype is real, all the fans are absolutely excited to see Future Trunks taking on Black and Zamasu all by himself. It is surely going to be an intense fight and we're going to see Trunks like never before. In this video, I'm going to break down the preview trailer of the upcoming Dragon Ball Super Episode 62. We have some official spoilers in hand and I will also throw in my predictions. So if you don't want to get spoiled, you know exactly what to do. Before I start analyzing the preview, I want to cite episode 62 title and preview summary which was translated by Harms and is thus 100% officially confirmed. Dragon Ball Super Episode 62 I'll protect the world Trunks' angry superpower explosion airing date October 16th. Son Goku and company have eliminated the Zamasu in the present, but the future hasn't still changed. Goku and company return to the present. Vegeta says, we can't beat them in a head-on battle. But Piccolo replies, in that case, there is one thing you can do. Going to the turtle hermit, Master Roshi to learn the evil containment wave. Trunks entrusts Goku with finding a way of defeating Zamasu and company. After returning to the past, Goku asks the turtle hermit to teach him the evil containment wave. But, in order to defeat Zamasu and Goku Black for short this time, Goku and company have come to the future once again. But Zamasu and Goku Black's battle power far surpasses their own. Future Trunks tries to stand against them but they accuse them, you are the cause of it all. Now let's break down the preview trailer of Dragon Ball Super Episode 62. Here we see Future Trunks giving Black a really hard time beating the hell out of him. However, one very noticeable thing here is that even though his eye pupils are not there and his buff top, the blue god aura that we saw during the transformation is not there either. I believe this scene from the episode 62 gave birth to the theory that Trunks actually absorbed the blue aura. Even though it hasn't even been a week since we saw Trunks' new transformation, the fandom is so hyped that they are always talking about it and coming up with theories. According to that theory, just like Goku absorbed the spirit bomb to destroy Android 13, Future Trunks absorbed the blue god key or aura. The thing is, the spirit bomb is external energy gathered from external sources, so the absorbing of it makes sense which is not the case here. But let's take a look at it in a more simple and realistic way. From the preview trailer, we know even though Future Trunks will fight Goku Black and Zamasu, he won't be able to keep up for too long. That is why Goku and Vegeta needs to rush back to the future as soon as possible. So one thing here could be that after fighting for a while, Trunks loses the blue aura or the blue aura appeared only while powering up. We do see Trunks taking a kick from Black while not having the blue aura, so it could be near the end of the battle, maybe just when Goku and Vegeta were on the verge of return. In the preview, we also see Krillin, Chi Chi, Goten, Trunks, Piccolo and last but not the least, Master Roshi. There will probably be a little gathering when Goku and Vegeta return as they will try to figure out what should be done next. We know for fact Piccolo is going to suggest the use of the evil containment wave otherwise known as the Mafuba. It is a Dragon Ball classic move and can basically be used to seal demonic creatures. Master Mutairo sealed King Piccolo using this later on the series. Master Roshi died while trying to use this technique on King Piccolo. Tien also attempted the technique but failed due to interference. Even though we never saw Piccolo using this move, he did counter it against Kami. However, from the preview summary, we know Goku heads to Master Roshi's place to learn this technique. However, there are some complexities relating to this evil containment wave. Firstly, as it uses a lot of life force, it might result in the death of the user of this technique. 
Just like we saw Master Mutaidu and Roshi dying due to attempting it, you can argue that if Goku uses it, he won't probably die because he is extremely strong. But the problem here is the opponent. This technique is going to be used to seal the immortal Zamasu because our heroes are finding no ways to stop him otherwise. So if this move is used against him, it would also require more life force than anything else. So the risk remains. Also from the further spoilers of the episode 65, we don't get any hint of it being used. We don't know for sure if that got used or not, or if they failed with it. But we do know that Black and Zabmasu will merge and if they are to use the technique after they merge, it's going to be hard. And bringing back someone who died in the future timeline could in fact be difficult. I think they could take Roshi or Tien in place of Bulma just for the technique. I'm not saying they will, I'm saying they could. Another thing is this technique is basically designed to seal demons while even Zamasu is originally more of the god kind. But then again after doing all this, his key must also be evil and it should work against him too. Another interesting thing to note, Gohan doesn't know anything about all this as of yet. In fact, he has become so dumb and ignorant he didn't bother asking Future Trunks why he came here in the first place. Now in the preview we see Gohan. So probably in episode 62, Gohan is finally going to find out what's happening. I am not saying Gohan will necessarily get involved, but one thing for sure. It will be interesting to see how Gohan reacts to this entire scenario, how he feels to know that he has become so irrelevant and careless that he didn't even know the sufferings they are going through and to be honest, they all owe Future Trunks high time for this Cell Saga. So I'm interested to see how Gohan feels to not being able to help Trunks when he finally needed him. This is one episode Gohan fans might consider watching with some hope. In this shot we see Beerus and Whis with Gawasu once again. Did they go back there again? I don't know why. Beerus and Whis are probably trying to figure out what's wrong with this Zamasu. Beerus looks frustrated. He is directly getting proved wrong so that could be a reason too. Beerus claimed that Zamasu is destroyed from all forms of existence. So it'd be interesting to see how Beerus reacts to that and what he does after knowing that he was wrong. I wonder if he would be motivated on a personal level to put an end to this all. Black and Zomasu vs Trunks would be interesting to watch even though we know what the outcome might be like. I wonder if Trunks will be using some new moves we have never seen before. That's about all for episode 61. Do comment your opinion and predictions in the comment section. However, we also have spoilers up to episode 65. I already made a separate video covering that, but if you missed that or want to see that again, I'm attaching the video here that will give you spoilers of Dragon Ball Super episode 63 to 65. Keep watching. Dragon Ball Super episode 63. Source 2 doesn't reveal much, so I'm going to mention Source 1 only. Dragon Ball Super episode 63 title. Don't defile science cells. The curtain rises on Vegeta's intense battle, airing date October 23rd. Although Trunks puts his life on the line battling against Zamasu and Goku Black in order to protect the world of the future, Goku Black inflicts critical damage on him and is about to finish him off. However, at that moment, Goku and Vegeta return to the battlefield. So basically what happened in this reveal is, they included a part of the last episode in order to not give away much. They do it quite often. The way I see it, since Goku and Vegeta's return to the future is mentioned in episode 62, they will probably return at the end of 62. The summary doesn't reveal much, but the title gives us a good idea of what we are going to see in this episode. So Future Trunks is critically damaged alright, and they were about to finish him off. That is when Goku and Vegeta returns. So Half Dead Trunks is probably going to trigger Vegeta a lot. And Vegeta will probably attack Black and Zamasu, and we might get to see Vegeta getting involved in some intense action. Then we have the title of episode 64. Dragon Ball Super 
Episode 64, Praise and Adore Him, The Explosive Birth of Margie Dizamasu, airing date October 30th. I think we all can pretty much understand what they're hinting. Goku Black and Zamasu both have Patara earring on and we know for a fact that if one of them switches it to the other ear, they will merge or fuse into one even stronger being. So by this time, Vegeta and company will somewhat push Black and Zamasu to their limits or some kind of problematic situation to overcome which they will fuse. It could also be to counter the evil containment wave which doesn't get mentioned in the preview after episode 62. Maybe after Zamasu gets sealed or is about to get attacked, Black will risk it all and march to become extremely powerful. So, you could probably also guess what this could lead to. Dragon Ball Super might answer the fans. Yes guys, it looks like we are on the verge of getting Super Saiyan Blue Goku and Vegeta Fusion. So let's take a look at episode 65 title. Dragon Ball Super, episode 65, Final Judgment, The Supreme God's Ultimate Power, airing date November 6th. Guys, this title and the Supreme God's ultimate power is probably referring to the Zamasu and Black Fusion. Supreme Kai, Supreme God, you know what I mean, right? So that's the most likely scenario. However, it could also be referring to some other events, like to counter the evil god Black Zamasu, Goku and Vegeta might fuse to become the Supreme God and might reach an ultimate form of power or there's one material that has not been used till now, that is the Zeno button. It could be in one way or the other get pressed and the Omni King might appear, Final Judgment could be hinting that too. Even though Zeno is friends with Goku, he might want to hear out both sides. If Black Zamasu informs Omni King about how Trunks is the one who started it all by breaking the laws of time, it would be interesting to see his reaction. Also, it'd be interesting to see how he deals with Goku or Beerus not telling him about all this. Especially, time traveling is illegal and gods didn't do anything about it even after knowing it. What if he announces a trial by combat? This is very unlikely, but the obvious is already talked about. So I'm just trying to know how you guys feel about other possibilities. Anyways. Like I said earlier, it's probably referring to Zamasu and Black's marched form. But even if we don't get Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta or Gogeta in episode 65, I think we will get it after that episode or very soon. Because they have brought up the fusion concept and there's no way they could close it without Goku and Vegeta using it. Many fans would be totally pissed off if they do that. Even plot wise there must be some counter to Black Zamasu and Fusion seems to be the most logical answer. So I personally think this is in a way almost officially confirms the return of Fusion and we will possibly see Super Saiyan Blue Gegeta or Vegito taking on Zamasu Black very soon. Thanks a lot to Harms for translating the preview summaries, all courtesy goes to him. Bless the comment section with your opinion down below. Join us on Facebook, link attached in the description. See you in the next video.